going on YouTube? It is Greg Lock Fitness. First of all, I'd like to apologise. I haven't put a video up for like four or five days, so massive apology. I've just been trying to get everything in place in my diet and diet and training. So it is massively switched up now. I think I did mention this in a previous video. What has changed is I'm now cutting body fat. So I bulked up over Christmas, as you do, a winter, no, 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 a winter naughty, kind of naughty bulk. Try to keep it as lean as possible, but you know, when you're bulking, you do want to see the size going as fast as you can. So I jumped on the scales, which are behind me there, just on the floor. Um, morning weight after the bulk, it was something like 80, no, not morning, sorry. Um, before bed, it was something about 88, around 88 before bed. So I was pretty happy with that, you know, before I started I was like 83 kg, it's a lot, a lot of gains man, I feel like I gained some muscle as well, I didn't even bulk for that long, probably 5 months, 5 to 6 months, something like that. Um, and now I'm onto the cutting, so cutting is massively different. If you don't know what it is, it's where you're cutting the body fat. Balking is where you're going to gain a little bit of body fat, but the overall idea of it is to gain as much muscle as you can and then get rid of the body fat to uh, reveal the aesthetics. So I'm currently, um, before bed weight, currently around 87 at the moment, so obviously a lot of it would be water weight and like your glycogen stores will go down massively when you're cutting carbohydrates out your diet. If you wonder what macros I am having, it is about 1,700 calories. Um, it does vary slightly though, but I'm sticking to a certain amount of meals, which is, gives me about 1,500. That is um, 155 protein, 160 carbs, and around 30 grams of fat. I don't go over 33 grams of fat, um, which is what the calories is, calories is allocated me, 33 grams of fat. So I, I don't go over that. My hair's really annoying as well, because I've put nothing in it. I went to the gym today with my cap, I pulled off a Bradley Martin. Um, Dodsy hating on me for wearing the cap, but I have wore a cap a few times training. Um, pulling off the Bradley Martin, although my hair isn't going yet, but I'm sure now I've said that I will get cursed and it will be going. So yeah, that's the cut really. The, um, also a new training plan. So the new training plan is going to be a progressive overload plan, similar to a plan that I followed throughout summer and I made a lot of gains. I do realise now that I am cutting and Obviously the gains won't be like strength gains and all that malarkey, it will be more, um, there will be strength, I, I don't believe oh, you, you can't cut and gain strength at the same time with anabolic steroids, I do believe that you can still be gaining strength and it's a lot of psychological, I know the carbs is much much lower but I think it's still, still doable and I think you still can gain elements of muscle whilst cutting. From what I'm starting with, um, I think four to six weeks to see where you're at after then. I mean, the calories are so low, like, yeah, you don't want to get unhealthy, you don't want to cross over. Also, these are really good to snack on. Um, as I said, I'm getting the 1,005, 6, something around that with the macros, I'm hitting the macros. And then if you are hungry, you can snack on things like almonds and Greek yogurt. Fruit's quite good as well, apples. Because you do get hungry, but you've got to remember, you are hungry, but you've got a goal to get at the same time, so you've got to fight past that hunger and make sure you get your goal, because it's not easy. If it was easy, everyone would be walking around shredded. I guarantee you that. So uh, I've got my meals on my phone. I'll read out a few for you. Uh, this is what I'm having for breakfast, and this is from Lex Fitness. He inspired me to make this. I watched his, you know, you've been watching it. I've been watching Lex Fitness for years now, and this is what he had for breakfast when he was cutting to compete in Muscle Mania. 60 grams of old fashioned oats, six, well I use five or six egg whites, a serving of whey, and then personally myself before the gym I have a medium banana, so that's my pre-workout meal, so basically it's this chocolatey, or strawberry, it depends what, uh, or vanilla, depends what um, protein you use, but I use chocolate, so it's like this chocolate mess, I've actually got a picture. Naughty chocolate mess. All right, here's a picture. Yeah, it's really, really nice. So that's something that I would recommend. Any questions on cutting or bulking, feel free to ask. Um, I'm extremely knowledgeable in the area. 
purely from the fact that I've been training for like five years now, something like that. But more, more, more purely, if possible, the fact that the amount of research and the amount of time that I've dedicated into looking at nutrition and like even down to like how the glycogen gets into the muscle at certain speeds and all that malarkey, down to like how to do a correct bicep curl. I mean, it's like that, isn't it, guys? It's not like that. Also, another thing that I'm really trying to do is correct my posture load. So a lot of people are like um, kyphosis over, and I have a friend, Jordan, like he's trying to correct his posture, which, mate, doing a great job, man. A little tip: you sit on a chair, always make sure all of your back is supported at once. These Mentos fruity chewing gums are naughty, so. Um, people say I oh, sit up straight, I have really bad. You sit up straight, that's really bad for your posture. Um, it's like a lot of pressure on your lower back, you want all your back to be supported. This is a shit chair. Oh yeah, that's, that's really good posture, isn't it? Great. No, it's not. So yeah, if you've got any questions on posture as well, right, uh, get me. let me get a thumbnail, let's see. There we go. There we go. Right, well, guys, any questions, anything like that, we have a laugh here on the Greg Lock Fitness channel. Also, hopefully, we are going to be starting a new series which is more shredded by the day. So, if you do watch this, um, don't copyright it. And yes, I did just fart. That is what you could hear in the background. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, again. Apologies for the videos. Dan will hopefully do an up update video similar to this. Um, any questions? Bang. Instagram Greglock Fitness, hit me up. Subscribe if you want, you don't have to subscribe. I like the video if you want, guys. Thanks a lot.